you see it just work, you know, you have this sense of pride knowing that you put in your time, talents, and abilities to do something that's bigger than you that will change the future of humanity. As a spacecraft systems engineer, I'm responsible for the design, test, integration, and verification of the Orion spacecraft. The Orion spacecraft is NASA's deep space exploration spacecraft that will be used to take humans to the moon, Mars, and asteroids. Being an engineer is so much fun. I've gotten to do pretty much everything an astronaut gets to do except fly in space. I've gotten to learn how to fly simulators and actually fly the same simulators that astronauts get to. I've gotten to do experiments and work in microgravity. I've gotten to put on spacesuits and test out hardware. So a typical workday for me actually really varies. There's a lot of different design meetings you would have to go to to discuss the latest what's going on in the design. Um, to some days you have to look at drawings and do computer work. Other days you're interacting and meeting with people. Sometimes you'll have to crunch numbers and do that, you know, that math stuff you actually learned and apply it. I'm a very hands-on person, so anytime I can get my hands on the hardware, um, get out to participate in one of the tests and, and see equipment, robots in action, those are, those are some of my favorite days at work. I announced that I wanted to be an astronaut my first day of kindergarten. It's really the only thing I've ever wanted to be. Despite not being the best at math and science, I just had to work really hard at it and stick with it because I knew if I wanted to pursue aerospace engineering and design and build rockets and spacecrafts, I was going to have to pursue some of the harder, harder challenging classes, some of the harder degrees, do some of the different technical electives offered at my school to be able to prepare me to go into college studying aerospace engineering. My definition of the engineer is anyone who asks how and sticks with it to find an answer. To keep asking how, to keep asking why, to pursue those answers and not quit until you get them is all you really need to be a great engineer or scientist. You have to have courage, you have to have confidence, you have to be willing to get your hands dirty and, and stick with some of the harder stuff out there. You have to be okay with occasionally failing and, and remembering to learn the lesson from it. You never truly lose if you, as long as you don't lose the lesson. To become an engineer after high school, um, I essentially just went to undergrad university and happened to get myself my foot in the door via an internship while I was still involved in undergrad studies. And that kind of got me in the door to the engineering realm. My first job actually was working for Northrop Grumman as electromagnetic environmental effects engineer. Um, so I did a lot of their design and flight tests for various department of defense programs. I would recommend that you study those math and science classes, that you stick with them even when they don't come easily, that you choose a technical route if you're participating in any of the FIRST Robotics or other type programs out there, um, that you do different technical electives, that you work on your car, try welding, try fixing things, break stuff. If you, if you can put it together, great. If you can't, that's okay. It's a learning process. Don't be afraid to be the only girl there. I get to do really cool stuff with engineering and science, but at the same time, I can express who I am. Sometimes I'll have steel toe boots on, other times I get to rock my stilettos. Just because you like engineering or science doesn't mean you have to be stale, pale, frail, or male to succeed in the profession. Lockheed Martin has a female CEO, Marilyn Houston, and it, it's really incredible to see such an uh, amazing woman have worked her way up through the engineering and science ranks within the company. So one of the things I absolutely love about the FIRST Robotics program is how it really embraces gracious professionalism. We also try to exhibit and foster the same gracious professionalism that you will see on the field. Um, I like to call it competimates when we're teaming up with other companies such as um, the Boeings, the Raytheons, and Northrop Grumman. And we're all working together to try to win proposals and do things just the same way the students are trying to do alliances. If you have a dream, Follow it fiercely. Don't give up on it, embrace it, and even if people doubt you, it's your dream, not theirs. Stay true to that and pursue it no matter where it takes you.